So in this video, I want to show you my favorite way of joining a texture in Photoshop. And when I say joining a texture, when you put something into repeat, it's really important that you mend the seams. Now, we're going to use the offset filter and I will show you um, this in another video. But the really important stage of when you're putting something in, into repeat is making sure that when it's in repeat, no one can see where those joins are. And that's what I want to show you today. There's lots of ways that you can do this. Um, and I've worked with textures a lot. And so in my experience, um, you can use the clone tool and brushes to kind of paint over certain areas. But my absolute favorite way um, is using a fill method. And this means that you really maintain the authenticity of your original um, painted picture, artwork, mark making. And that is for me the, the best part of using Photoshop and putting something into a repeat. So once you have your texture open that you want to work with and put into repeat, um, this is just a spray paint image that I've done. Um, and I've just taken, use the marquee tool here just to make a selection. And I've actually done it um, 500 by 500 pixels and copied and pasted it into my file. Now, this is um, 500 by 500 and I've done that so I can divide the width and the height in half easily, which we'll do in a minute. So first thing I like to do is just duplicate my layer. And I'll just lock that bottom layer. I always do this out of habit, just in case I go wrong or I need to repair something in the file that I'm working with. I'll just turn that off and make sure that I've got the um, active layer that I want to work on selected. Um, and then if you go to filter and other, you have the offset command that comes up. I'll just move that over so it's nice and easy for you to see. And at the moment it's set to zero. Um, which means that that is the original tile that you have in there. If you change these arrows, you'll see lines that start to appear on the horizontal and on the vertical. And you'll see you get this cross. It doesn't necessarily really matter where the cross is, but for the purpose of the next video, when we actually put it into repeat, it, it does make it easier. So I'm going to do 250 because I know that that is half of my full width, which was 500 pixels and 250. Make sure you have wrap around selected and click OK. And you'll see that you have um, a cross that appears through the section of your image. So there's a couple of ways that you can um, mend these images. The clone stamp tool here is quite a nice way of doing it. And I like to use that for something like this. And it works in a similar way to a brush. So I try and get my brush size roughly representing the size of the image that I, the area that I want to edit. I think that will work quite nicely. And then I'll go sort of as close to as possible. You hit the Alt click key to select, and then you can start to, to fill in that area. Again, I'm just going to reduce that down. I might just click this section over here. Alt key, increase my brush size by using the bracket um, shortcuts on my keyboard. And again, just going to reduce that down. And you can spend quite a lot of time just going through editing any little errors in your um, design that you don't want. And maybe that one there as well. We're just, just going to increase that. I'm just going to take this section here, Alt. And I'm just going to bring that over. Something, though, that is really nice and means that you can maintain your hand quality or the hand drawn feel to your work, in this case the spray paint, is if you use the lasso tool, now the shortcut for that is L on your keyboard. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just going to take this sort of section here. We'll go through and do this quite quickly. Um, but the more careful you are with this and the more selective you are with this, the nicer the repeat is when you finish it. And if you go to um, Edit, Fill, 
and make sure you have content aware selected. Click OK. And you can see that it starts to fill in your image using the information around the selected area. Now you might just want to come in and sort of edit that section there. Again, edit, fill, content aware, and it starts to just manipulate your image and you lose those seams. So I'm just going to quickly go around and do the rest. Being careful not to go over my edges. And then once you're happy with how that looks, you can then go to filter, other and offset. And if you just move these around, you'll then start to be able to spot if there's any errors in, in the offset and where there might be joins. I'm going to take that back to zero and that back to zero and then just move it right up again just to kind of just double check where there might be that one looks it all looks pretty good to be honest I think we might be ready to take this into repeat so once you're happy click OK and we'll have a look at how you actually put that into repeat in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to look at actually how we use a texture and put it into repeating design. Um, so don't forget to check out the other tutorials um, on Photoshop and Illustrator. And thanks for watching.